Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to Rogue State Revolution. Let's go. Just one person is hanging out. That's fine. We actually are happy for them. And let's end the turn. We spent a bunch of money last time. Senji women are requesting financial vouchers from our government to pay for the cost of child care. Senji. We can totally afford two per month for 6% permanent liberal approval of the Senji. And you know, you know that this is something that we want to do. 39%, nine months to go. I expect to just keep taking up over time because of the changes that we've made. Peach Army. All units gain plus one attack bonus when they're outside of Basenji. I didn't, honestly didn't even know you can attack your neighbors. Holy crap. Okay. Got a lot of money. Lots of money coming in. Everything is at... Nothing is in the red. Our health situation is not stupendous. But that's okay. I have a feeling we're going to want to make some more food pretty soon. We're exporting 80 still. Our oil surplus is diminishing, however. 31. 31 oil is not a very large surplus. I'm gonna say it's time Excellency. Very well. to uh, get some more oil. I mean, we could, of course, increase this. Minister of Natural Resources. I think this is actually a fine idea. Let's do it. Because there's probably a lot of pollution coming down over here, right? Yeah, it's definitely a hot spot. Traffic is still pretty, pretty fine, I think. No real particular locations of, of worry. We may just want to get some oil here, though. Boom. And, uh... Yep, yeah, I think that's fine. We got 69 left. Again, we probably want to spend it all. Something to be said about getting more food. 80 going out, 100 going to our cities. We're, we're actually about to stop making so much money from this, which is okay. But again, improves tourism for nearby hotels. One per province. Let's build a damn hotel. It's actually a lot of money. Hotels can provide a substantive source of income for the yeah. If you've taken time to ensure this nation is fit for tourists, hotel revenue depends on the hotel you should have looked based at, on uh, and <laughs> the attractiveness of buildings. Like, of these eh, yeah, 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 okay. Attractiveness is, is actually quite high over here. The lower left, and how generally a lot of things can kill a successful hotel industry and turn yeah. a thriving business into a military conquest away from our federal we should foreign probably tourists. think about keeping our airports, beaches, and foreign campaigns. Us. Yeah, well, we spent all of our money now. Minister of Foreign Affairs, add to our hotel rating. It can be seven per turn. Okay. Not a lot more. Yeah, that's pretty attractive. All right, so the grasslands are attractive. 
what we're definitely going to want to do is put up a bunch of beach resorts over here. Which is uh, definitely the plan. You Reduce pollution might have been a nice idea to do. Don't want to ditch this yet because I'm worried about bumping up against our food income right now. Can you upgrade these things? Can. Okay. Very cheap. I don't think I'm going to do that. Yes. Facilities inspector. You know what? Everyone, everyone who's going somewhere, please go somewhere. I think our cleric... We're still just going in that direction. I should really check. Our cleric has potentially reached an interesting location. Intelligence officer. Looks like there's no camps right now. Okay, Clary. You are here. Have a religious experience. Oh, yes. A moment of clarity. The cleric meets with an old companion who has since become a very successful businessman. The companion is deeply depressed in spite of his wealth and power. Once you have enough money to meet your basic needs, everything on top of that puts us on a treadmill where we want more and more. As we get wealthier, we become more isolated. We don't need people the way we did when we were poor. The cleric asks why, with such misery, his friend doesn't give away his wealth. It is a curse, he replies. The only thing worse than the misery this money has brought me is the crippling fear that without it I would be unhappier still. The cleric considers the great joy he has seen in so many who have so much less. Inspired by the conversation, the cleric adopts the Edict of Piety. Then what does that mean? Movement, promote. Minister of Justice for this. Where is the edicts? Hold here. I can actually do this with the surveyor. Okay. Um, he's adopted the Edict of Piety. One thing that happened before, yeah, I can raise this up to be much higher than I previously could. But where is the edict? Centipedia edict. Yes, separation between our government and the dominant religion of the nation is up to you. There are many things you can do to appeal to your religious population. The council group clerics from the faith assembly of Rome land have religious experiences and use those experiences to shape religious doctrines in a matter that align with your government's ambition. These doctrines are called edicts and are set from the faith assembly. Which, um. Uh, somewhere around here. Can I. Right next to the cost money. No, it doesn't. Religious citizens within six tiles of a cleric will experience no unhappiness due to a low provincial entertainment score. So you can use clerics and send them to certain locations that will just remove any kind of unhappiness. I mean, our guess we just turn it on because it's all we got, right? Excellency? I guess so. Yes. Uh, okay. Now we have no more money. We did just buy more oil. Which will kick in next turn. Or rather, we're producing more oil. not making us any money, but I guess we're fulfilling our... It's kind of, kind of disappointing. I hope there's gold here. I'd be very happy. Excellency. 
Very well. Excellency. I have this gold here. Um, I don't really have anything to do. I don't have the money to build anything, Excellency. you know? Yeah, you can just move here. Excellency. Excellency. You can potentially well. move here. <laughs> okay. Great! Soon we will have our next uh, minister. The Just entire nation mourns oh. the loss of Minister Nader Adad, hero of both the Basenji our Revolution and the Basenji Civil War. Our minister of natural resources. Oh, shit! And there's a global recession. The American market is is uh, crashing. Our effect, our investments have been obliterated. Well, we didn't do any investments. Workers' compensation. Three a turn. Big bonus to health access. That would actually take us up out of here. Yeah, do that for sure. Up next. Whistleblower hotline. Appeal overtime laws, prohibit unions, super notes, regulate cryptocurrency, offshore banking, casino. Can, can you build? Is this a building? Can we make casinos? Yes. Interesting. Proceed. Proceed. How are we doing here? 42%? I think we're going to hit it. I think we're going to hit it. I now see the, the downside, by the way, of um, not having or having a sick or whatever that, that led him to die. Excellency. First things first. Boom. Boxite. It's okay. Plenty of oil. We're selling almost all of it. Which is fine. But again, I do want to kind of try and pivot a little bit. Beach Resort. I'm just kind of curious. What does it do? Anything on its own? No. Plus 30. Minister of Foreign Affairs things here? Yes. <laughs> it's a it's a five star hotel? Four star? It's only saying plus fourteen right now. Hopefully that uh, changes <laughs> soon. <laughs> we'll check next turn. Cleric! Nothing left down there. Yeah, go. Go check these things out. I think uh, it's time that we we buy another farm.
kind of like the plus three income. <laughs> so, I guess we're gonna leave you as is. You're doing fine. You're going after casino. Oil cartel slowly coming our way. We're not favoring anyone. We're prioritizing rule of law, but I don't know if uh, it's really gonna matter too much in the long term. We are polite here. Cash. All of this is looking pretty fine for me. Saba. And you do not have a lot of workers. You take four, so we couldn't even build another one. Hey! Plus 24! Wow, we sunk a lot of money into that. It's not even us plus 24. That's. Doesn't seem. Front. 120. No, they're not. Maybe it's worthwhile. Natural resources. We don't have any. Yeah, okay, never mind. I, I thought this would be development for some reason, but. Since you're tier 2? Oh, I upgraded to it at some point. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Um, and our surveyors is done here. Yeah. Excellency. Okay, five months. You're just gonna have to chill, I guess. Still plenty of bauxite, like I said. Any? Oh, hello. Excellency. Can go and heal. Excellency. Excellency. On our way. Excellency. We're all gonna go this way. Excellency. Excellency on our way. Um actually. Yeah, every country is already turned on here. Okay, get a little bit closer there. with that you're all actually maxed out hotel barred the boar seems like it might well I, I don't have the workers for it but it would be worthwhile to, to upgrade this um actually let's get rid of this last one doesn't take a, a turn i thought it would Just gives a lot of bonus religious approval. Okay. One per province. Yeah, again, I don't think we want to actually build any of these things. Alright, for uranium imports, yeah, but our relationship is just not really good enough with anybody. I think I'm just going to expedite you. I'm going to be a little bit faster in the direction of this, uh, this base. And let's end the turn. We are going to probably need to consider spending some cash again. Some effort on... Uh, um, more military units and on more industry. Excellency, both the police and armed forces are deeply concerned about the resist posed, risk posed by civilians 3D printing ballistic firearms. Without your direct intervention, we may be moving toward an age where our existing gun control mechanisms are doomed to fail. I don't want to lose the, uh, the liberal approval because I'm trying to get that up right now, so we'll just tolerate that. Yeah, right? I, I don't want. I, I would really like it for you to be happy. To 
gain the loyalty. You'll, you'll finish off the long range ASM. Sure, that's that's cool. Excellency, you guys all in this direction. Excellency, on our way. And you can just be kind of my vanguard there, buddy boy. You'll move eventually. You will. Two months away for a new minister. Am I gonna get a minister of natural resources? Justice or maybe citizenship? Stuff. Karifi. They already. Hmm. Of course, Karifi citizen rode up in one country, two nations. Wow, interesting. Um, there's also open borders, which we're not gonna do. Travel bans. Whatever. I'm not gonna worry about that too much. This will go up next turn. People are seeming pretty happy. I mean, we're not <laughs> positive just yet. We are making a lot of money though. You get me 24. Yeah, unfortunately, you just don't have the workers to support another thing here. Yeah, that seaport. Seaport took a lot. Can we put the seaport next to this? No, that's not even in our territory. Invest in more hotels? Kind of like it. Really pretty town over here. Must be adjacent to a town. Oh, that's not... Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. <laughs> As to why. That's pretty. Um, this way, then. Plus three. It's not a lot of money. <laughs> okay. But we're gonna, we're gonna work on that, right? Next things for our Minister of Foreign Affairs. Once Oil Cartel is done... I think we're going to do like a little bit of beautiful Basenji. Spared no expense, maybe. Provincial tourism budget? Huh. Parades. Does it actually if I if I increase this, here's here's my question. Does this I mean, let's learn. Let's find out. I mean, maybe it'll tell me something here. Tourism. Tourism appeal. Because we're building an airport maintaining high international security and rule of law. Okay. Poor relations with neighboring countries or protests and riots, hotel rating, and the land. So, okay. Not actually... So, so funding or having more entertainment doesn't do anything to this. Stadiums, museums, beach resorts, and gardens. So building something like a stadium or a museum, say next to this, we don't have the workers. I should have a... I don't think you have a lot of workers either, Carrick. I don't remember which one you are. 16, did you not? And now, for example, building a stadium. Or a museum. History wing. Wing of American atrocities. What does that do? Okay, it just gives a bonus to that. Fine. Um, maybe more conservatives and earn easy favor with the Russians. Very interesting. Okay, this was not super well placed, and it's probably not going to make us a lot of money in the long term. Fine. Um, I do think I want. 
another silver array. I think we will put that over here. Gotta make sure our power is in a fine spot. Food is fine. We could use another plastics factory and processed food. luxuries, am I? No. No, I'm not. You're also unstable. Jakenistan, that's concerning to me. Excellency. Jakenistan is on the north, yeah? We might need some more uh, military units just in case it goes unstable. If you want to deal with um, illegal immigrants and the like. Which, yes, we, you do deal with them <laughs> with tanks, which, we're, which is what we're going to do. I'm just going to send a tank way over here. Just in case. Tank is maybe overkill, huh? Let me just send an infantryman. Probably use more industry, but I don't think we're gonna have the money to really do that. Another plastics factory. We do lack the money. Hmm. Very nice income, but I'm spending it like crazy. This thing. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not worth it. Should have thought about that a little bit more. A place where I've got more workers, where I've got more opportunity to, uh, to actually use them. Like over here, for example. We can pop that down. We can put a museum nearby, a garden. All these things. Oh, is that pollution? Yeah, it's not very attractive. Trash that area. Kind of here, kind of. Kind of here. Because of this market? Or an airport. Um, what now? Money to really do much, so I'm probably gonna expedite you. Have you just come here? Potentially, have you come here? Potentially, yes. Okay, he did it. He, he managed, he managed to do it. Faith experience. What do we got here? Moment of clarity. The cleric meets with the scholar to discuss inconsistencies from the pillars of the old ways and how they can be interpreted in modern law. The question, remarks the cleric, is how one can reconcile the establishment of religious laws to promote modesty and piety with the tenements of liberty that are dictated in the very same religious texts. The scholar thinks about this for a second and responds, many fear that if we embrace liberalism and the liberty that comes with it, then we would excuse ourselves from religious morality itself. You will effectively abandon your beliefs because you are free to. That is only by force that we are able to maintain our moral compass. This perspective is incorrect, for freedom doesn't compel or advise you to abandon your faith. Instead, uh, or your faith, freedom instead, provides a vacuum in which your faith can be explored and it is your job to fill that vacuum. The cleric, inspired by this conversation, adopts the edict of liberalism. Religious conservative citizens within six tiles of a cleric have a low likelihood of being converted to liberal citizens. So 
they will stay... Okay, I didn't even know necessarily that you could convert. Inspire a cleric. Oh, let's just get you another cleric, of course. Well, we're actually out of time, so we're going to put a cut in here. And um, next time, feeling pretty good, feeling very stable. Um, at this point, I mean, I, I actually I don't know what the long-term requirements of this game are. Is there an end to it? Can you just keep playing forever? Do you need to win a re-election or something? Right now we would lose. But not by a huge margin. I mean, 49%, 39%. Could be done. Could be done. I mean, we are, our safety is, our health is not, it's not super great. Some things could be done to improve that for sure. Um, but, uh, well, anyways, that's going to be next time. Until then, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.